What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Mikey Williot. Make sure you guys take the chance that you already hit. Like, subscribe, comment, whatever you guys gotta do. This is my this is part two to the electric ATV build. We're pretty far along here. We have the more of the battery built. Everything's kind of more structurally based. I'm gonna walk you guys through how you guys can mount your motor to line up with your sprocket. I'm gonna show you guys how they, uh, how quality sheet metal did it. I'm gonna show you a bunch of things coming soon. So make sure you guys stay tuned. There's a lot of stuff coming soon. All right, so we're at Quality Sheet Metal. Daryl actually knew one of the owners of the place, and he was very interested in the build, and he told us to come bring it through just to see what we can do to make this thing come to life. I'm so happy we came here. These guys knew, these guys knew exactly what to do. Daryl actually had to leave prematurely because he had a volleyball game, but uh, I actually stayed and watched them build it, and uh, I'll, show, I'll tell you guys a little bit more and break it down more in depth what they did. So they made a custom steel plate for the bottom that goes across where the motor bay would normally sit. All right, so it's about an inch thick steel and it's just like the screw holes are the same size as the, uh, the mount holes for um, the motors. The machine that this is, is this cut, this would cut the piece of the, the excess steel off of the, the um, like the plate for the motor so it would be flush to the motor so there's nothing excess hanging off and like get clipped and torque its way out of there or something but yeah this this machine was pretty crazy just because it like had water literally shooting down just so this machine wouldn't get too hot i actually don't know what this thing is called um but this thing cut steel like it was butter like it was a butter knife going across some corn on the cob like that was crazy Getting back to it, uh, they actually welded these two tiny little, I think they would fit like a 3 8 bolt that goes across where like, I guess like the motor, the motor bay uh, screws would go. So literally you just had uh, the two, like the, I don't know, they're like the 3 8 but I'm not sure how long exactly they are. They look like they're probably like, I think like seven inches long. They're pretty, they're pretty long. They're pretty thick bolts and stuff like that. So. They made it, they put, they literally just welded the, um, these little tiny, I guess little, <laughs> like little cylinder things to just weld on just so it like would stay on as a full bracket and you could screw it in and all you have to do is just add bushing, which is pretty cool. But, uh, I'll let them explain that a little bit later, but as you guys can see, they're just screwing it into the, the original holes where it would already grow in, go in, but if you guys do this make sure you uh get longer screws because the stock screws they give you aren't obviously long enough and you do not want to go out on the trails and just give this thing a rip for your first go and have this the motor screws fall out or something like that that is, that is not a fun time at all so make sure you go out and uh, get a little bit longer screws and when you get the longer screws make sure the screws aren't too long because those long screws can go right into the motor and if, let's say that motor is spinning really fast it can really mess up the motor that is the one thing I, I'll tell you guys but just if you get a piece of steel just make sure you measure the steel and make sure you measure the screw and you just add that a little bit of, you just add that little bit and you'll be fine uh, but this is the part where they talk about the bushing like you said, I would just put... Yeah, pushing. Yeah. Alright guys, so we just got the car, the motor, fabricated, quality sheet metal, and the guys swagged us out, cannot be more grateful enough. I don't know if you guys, know if you guys can see the quad in the back, obviously you can't see the motor because it's down low. But uh, yeah, I'm actually going home to drop this thing off. If you guys aren't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe now because we got some crazy stuff now. I can't believe this this build is coming to real life. So make sure y'all stay in tune. Yeah, the last thing I gotta do is add some bushings to here. When I finally get this thing all lined up for where I want it to be for like the chain and the sprocket and all that stuff. But other than that, everything is pretty much all good. Thanks again for watching the video. Make sure you guys take the chance to subscribe, like, comment. I'm here to help you guys out. And every little bit helps, so make sure you guys 
But stay in tune. Thank you. Quiet, I'm doing a toast For niggas that don't really do shit I swear y'all be doing the most